before we started judging, we made one pass around just to take to get a feel for what we were going to be judging today. And I think the first thing we realized when we got back to, toward the back uh, wall there was that there was a large number of very large fish at the show. So all during this judging, I think we're all looking forward to until we get to that size six, because that was going to be, I mean, well, they had seven fish in size, seven kohakus in size seven. So that was a really good exercise to, to judge that many high quality, large kohakus in, in one setting. The shows I've done before, I haven't had an opportunity to do that. Yes, there were um, in the smaller sizes. I actually, to the other judges, kept complaining that, hey, we don't get to actually judge these at Surrey because there's only one in that size. When we got up to the size six, I think we had four at Surrey's we could look at, and several of them, them uh, different types of at Surrey's. You got your old style, very heavy old style sumi, to a more of a new style, more white closer to a lacquer sumi on there, so it was a very nice comparison to have to compare that old style to a new style. I think eventually we went to a more of a new style at Surrey in the end on that. Yeah, it wasn't much so much we were looking to compare it with a competitor, is we noticed that on one side of the venue it only has these fluorescents, and on the other side, it has fluorescence along with the mercury vapor. And we kind of thought, well, it might be a good idea at the small size where they could move it. Let's move one over to where the mercury vapors are and see if that's really impacting the reds as much as we were afraid they were. It turns out that when we move that fish over where the mercury vapors are, that it still had that very deep red look. We were afraid that it was this side that was causing some of the fish to have a deeper a red versus a more persimmon red that we're seeing on the other side of the of the room. Once we moved it over there, of course, uh, Art was able to say, I told you so, that it wasn't the lighting that was causing it. It looked like just, it just coincidence that the few fish we had looked at on this side of the room were more of your dark cherry red versus your more persimmon red that were on the other side of the room. So that helped us later on in judging not looking at going, oh, that's this darker cherry red because it's on this side of the room. It really is, really was that. Well, it, I think most people when they look at it would come up and immediately, it's a very imposing fish. Very wide body. The skin was incredible. I mean, the, the amount of fucra in between the scales is very impressive. After we had finished judging, we find out that fish is only five years old. That, it totally shocked us that that fish was only five years. I guessed it at maybe eight to ten years old, the minimum. But uh, I, I think that one, if everyone saw it, we looked at it. You know, there are some other very large kohakus that are very nice as well, but this one just has the imposing presence that you couldn't overlook. So I think, at least for Grand Champion, it wasn't as hard a decision. It was right after that. That's when it really got hard. That you had so many high-end high quality large kuhakus that made a real tough decision to figure out, decide which one was going to be next. Well, I, all I can say is I wish all my fish could have that kind of shape, whether they were chagoy kuhaku or not. It's just very powerful uh, from front to back. Um, but yeah, it was more wide on the front end versus more of a slim down to a, almost a torpedo shape. So that's a little different from what I've seen on Kohaku's before. Uh, most of them we would, we would all pretty much agree on. There was a few points, well, when we got up to the size six, I think on the Sankeys we had to play back and forth a little while. We, some of us had our, we liked this one over, over another, and we'd make our points on why we liked one over another. And, but in the end, we were able to say, yeah, I'm, I'm convinced that uh, this one, I think it's a Momotaro Sankey that we like the best in the end. It, it's still a, very much a tatagoy, so that's what uh, can, drew it. We were looking at it for today, and some of the sumi just wasn't quite up yet, but there were spots on it that had a very nice lacquer sumi on it. I, I think they, there were several times where we voted, and most of us were looking at the same fish. Um, but 